The third hedging strategy that is available for us when we have foreign currency payable is options hedge. So this involves borrowing dollars and buying call options on pounds, which will give us the right, but not the obligation to buy pounds at the price of $1.50 per pound. So in one year's time, depending on the future spot rate, we will either buy pounds at the spot rate or we will exercise this call option and buy pounds at the price of $1.50. And we will also, of course, need to repay the dollar loan. So if you take a look at the cash flow today, we need to borrow $10,000 so we can buy enough call options to cover 100,000 pounds. This is because call option premium is 10 cents per pound. So we borrow $10,000 at the US interest rate of 5% and then we use those $10,000 to buy call options on 100,000 pounds. So the net cash flow is zero. So a year goes by. So after a year, if the future spot rate happens to be lower than the exercise price of $1.50, we will not exercise this call option and buy pounds because why would we choose to buy pounds at the higher rate of $1.50 when we can just go directly to the spot market and buy pounds at the lower rate of $1.30 or $1.20 or $1.40. So if in the future spot rate happens to be less than $1.50 or the same as $1.50, we will not exercise uh, this uh, call option. But if in the future, uh, future spot rate ha happens to be greater than $1.50, then we will exercise this call option and buy pounds for $1.50 each. So what that means is the most we're going to spend is $150,000. So in the future, if spot rate happens to be greater than $1.50, uh, we will exercise this call option and pay $150,000 to purchase 100,000 pounds. But if in the future spot rate happens to be lower, we will just buy pounds at the spot rate and the amount of dollars that is needed to do so will be less than $150,000. We of course need to pay off our dollar loan. Uh, $10,000 borrowed at 5% will cost us $10,500. And of course we also, once we receive those 100,000 pounds, from uh, exchanging dollars into pounds, we have to send our payment to the UK supplier. So the net effect is going to be total cash outflow or cost of $160,500 or less. So this is our guaranteed maximum dollar cost. So remember, with options hedge again, you get a range of numbers instead of a single number, which is the case with forward hedge or money market hedge. So here, this is our maximum dollar cost. So depending on the future spot exchange, exchange rate, this number could actually be lower. So the nice thing about options hedge is that it's quite flexible. So it is providing um, maximum cost for us, but it also preserves the upside potential, meaning in our case, there's a chance for us to lower this total dollar cost.